And that breaking news at the U.S.-Canadian border, a fiery explosion as a speeding vehicle crashes into a concrete barrier at a bridge checkpoint. It happened at the Rainbow Bridge on the American side in Niagara Falls. Two people inside that vehicle were killed. Right now, officials say there is no indication this was in some way a terrorist attack. Eyewitness News reporter Jory Rand live in our newsroom with the latest details. Jory. Mark Allen, we know now that this was not a terrorist attack, but when it happened, that was a valid concern. This was at an international crossing the day before Thanksgiving, and witnesses say this high-end car was traveling up to 100 miles an hour before exploding into a fireball. It was like a movie. Incredible video out of Niagara Falls, New York, shows the moment a $300,000 car goes airborne, exploding into a security booth at the border to Canada. And about 30 feet from me, I seen something airborne. I first thought it was an airplane. It looked like slow motion. And I said, my God, it's a car. And it, it's a vehicle and it's flying through the air. The driver of the Bentley, a man in his 50s, and his wife were both killed. A Border Patrol agent inside the booth was injured but has been released from the hospital. For a time, given the location and the explosion that ensued, officials didn't know if this was an accident or if it was terrorism. So all four border crossings between Western New York and Canada were shut down. Additional measures are being uh, contemplated and activated at all border crossings across the country. Uh, we are taking this extraordinarily seriously. International flights out of nearby Buffalo were grounded, and both President Biden and Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg were notified and were monitoring the situation, which was eventually given the all clear as simply a tragic accident. At this time, there is no indication of a terrorist-involved attack here at the Rainbow Bridge in Western New York. And that Rainbow Bridge crossing remains closed tonight, mostly for cleanup rather than safety. But the other three border, border crossings were reopened. It turns out the couple who were killed was, were set to go to a KISS concert tonight, but that was canceled because Paul Stanley has fallen ill. So instead they went to a casino. We don't know what happened inside, but upon leaving, this high-speed crash took place. That will be part of the investigation, which is now ongoing. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.